Welcome to 2024. In this video, we're gonna take a look on the upcoming releases, the release cycle of the Ansible community and the Ansible automation platform, as well as the upcoming event and uh, what could be the prediction for this year for the Ansible IT automation platform. My name is Luca Burton and I'm an Ansible automation expert. So, Drum roll, let's quickly summarize that the Ansible is an open source project led by the Red Hat company. As you can see, the Ansible community change log is already upfront and share with us the correspondence between the Ansible community package and the Ansible core version. The Ansible core is actually the engine that runs our automation. As you can see on the metrics below, these are the most important data that you need to keep in mind. There are different versions of Ansible, and but usually every year there are two major releases. One in May, like it was in 2023 for the 2.15, and another release in November, like in 2023 for the 2.16. So we are expecting for 2024 to have the same alternation, having two different major releases, 2.16 in May and 2.18 in November 24. As you can see, there is also the support cycle and the end of life. One special edition is Ansible 2.9 because it's still adopted by many network devices and some special equipment. But even if it's marked end of life in this table, we're gonna see later that it's still a special release. Now, let's start on the date point of view. The first release is expected to be on uh, 29 of January 2024, as you can see, because the latest release cycle for uh, 2023 was 11 December, because there was one security issue that was addressed by this release. As you can see, was supported not only the latest release, 2.16, but also 2.15 and 2.14 were updated. If you want to take a closer look on uh, the release note, uh, everything is public and uh, available on this website. And here you can see all the details of the release note and uh, every contribution from the community. I really like the transparency of this community because we can take a look on everything that happened. The first event of the year is obviously the FOSDEM, that is a European uh, most famous event from a free software and developer um, worldwide. It happened in Brussels on the beginning of February as well as configuration management camp in Kent. Save the date and mark on your calendar. Also, all this information are published on the newest Ansible Forum resource. The Ansible Forum gives you the opportunity to explore more about uh, uh, discussion about the news announcement, uh, different project contribution, and is really nice and was introduced uh, um, during 2023 by the Ansible community. I really like this uh, um, platform because it makes it very easy to contribute, to share idea, and having all the stakeholders in one uh, place. On the other hand, the main event uh, is uh, this is the Red Hat Summit that is also hosting the Ansible Fest since last year and will, the next will, iteration will be in Denver, Colorado on May 2024. This event is actually packed of so many sessions, expert, SME, um, so it's really one place to be. So save the date if you are an enterprise and would like to know more about this event. Uh, the, calen the calendar and all the agenda is not available yet, but we can still save the data and it's very interesting because you can take a look on uh, uh, the previous, uh, previous event and more information are available on the official website. As you can see, this event also um, incorporates the Ansible Fest as, as now there are two events uh, together. Ansible Fest used to be like uh, the big union of the Ansible community for enterprise. 
Rather than that, you might be interested to attend the Ansible Automate that is more a global tour and as you can see there was a different uh, uh, event during 2023. I'm expecting, because it was a great success, that this stuff will be... Um, there will be another iteration as well uh, this year. I personally attended the event in London and was a huge success, a huge idea also to sharing ideas and making network uh, knowing better about the technology and the architect, the community behind. It was a very nice event and uh, I'm sure that you should uh, keep an eye on this uh, uh, page later on this year. Uh, another very important interest, interesting thing will be the changing of the Ansible.com website that now is more like uh, a promotion for the Red Hat Ansible automation platform but there is already a work group that is working on a new website that is more focused on the community and the open source part of the website. If you want to take a look there is already some uh, uh, preview that is available on the website and this is the new Ansible community website. As you can see the focus is more about the Ansible, the ecosystem and all the project uh, uh, related. I really like that they are promoting the Bullhorn, that is the official Ansible uh, mailing list. If you are not subscribed, I really recommend uh, to do it as soon as possible because this is a very nice, uh, um, is a very nice res resource. If you are wondering why a bull is because uh, Ansible was found in uh, Relic uh, USA and this is well known as the city of bull so it make more it make a sense to create this uh, wonderful resource there is a lot of link a lot of resources and we're gonna see later this year the launch of this website as i said before the ansible forum has a name to reunite all the collaboration between uh, the community, the community that is working in a lot of different projects, a lot of different uh, social space. Um, there is also a heavy investment in the uh, matrix communication system that is more um, a way of getting different social uh, chat. There is still uh, an IRC chat system, but I think that sooner we'll have uh, less and less people involved in this stuff. Uh, another interesting uh, part, if you are more committed to have some meeting about technology and community are the Ansible Community Day. There was uh, one Community Day in India in, the in February, I believe, and then there was one event in Europe, uh, the one that I was speaker last year in 2023 in Berlin. And there was a, a, the last event over here was in Durham in uh, October 2023. I'm expecting more to have the same calendar, so free event of, over the year, and this is more like for the open source part of the technology. Um, what else? Well, I was announcing the Ansible automation platform is the commercial product on top of the Ansible open source, um, of the op Ansible open source. And I was reviewing this table, I know it's a bit tiny, but um, Let's take a look. Usually uh, there was a two releases per year, one in May and one in November. This also matches the Ansible uh, core release cycle. Mm, we will see what will, uh, uh, what will be the future. As you can see, we have all the releases of Ansible AAP as well as with a life cycle expected date. What uh, we we'll focus is that uh, the current version of the 2.4 was released in June that matches the Red Hat Summit event. So we are expecting to have a similar release cycle for the upcoming 2.5. And uh, what is very interesting is that uh, the uh, Ansible automation platform 1.2 that incorporates the Ansible Engine 2.9 is still available for extended support cycle for some selected customer till the end of 2024. 
I think that uh, 2024 will be very interesting year because we see the transition from uh, old technology to the newest uh, and civil automation platform. So even if you are an enterprise, this will be very interesting year for you and uh, your uh, uh, stakeholders. Uh, here you can find all the information about uh, the release support uh, and uh, the supportability of the Red Hat and Civil Automation platform. What I'm going to expect uh, on the 2.5? Well, one of the things that Red Hat was working a lot was with Ansible validated content and certified content. This stuff I really is really powerful in my opinion because Red Hat is working a lot with ISV partner to get a collection uh, and more code available for the final user. So for example, if you're using like uh, a Cisco appliance, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. This, uh, the vendor is providing also an Ansible connect collection that is able to interact with selected hardware, as well as, for example, ServiceNow for ETSM and other interesting technology. There are so many partners that are working with uh, Red Hat to create new content every day. So keep an eye on this. And I 2023 was also a very interesting year because uh, the Ansible Lightspeed, the AI developed just for uh, working like a co-pilot for your Ansible development uh, was released uh, public. I think this technology will evolve more and more and will become like a very interesting um, tool for every developer nowadays. So the prompt engineering will be definitely one part of that uh, the company will explore. Also, one thing that is interesting is the event-driven automation that was introduced as a technical preview in the previous Ansible automation platform will be available more broadly and uh, I'm expecting that will be more uh, um, will be definitely an interesting use case because many organizations there would like to adopt more like this approach in the system. So I'm expecting Ansible to become more like enterprise ready and have more features for this kind of view. So I'm very curious to see any news regarding the Ansible automation platform 2.5 as well also for our release upcoming of the 2.16. You can take a look on the current roadmap about 2.17 that is here and we are currently approaching the release phase as you can see. Uh, sooner we're gonna get a, a, some release available for beta release so this is what we are looking for. I'm really excited about Ansible in 2023 uh, 2024 already and I can't wait to see how we can automate and uh, create a new workflow with this wonderful open source technology. Stay tuned and let's have fun together! Bye!